Nordhaus says leadership influences groups as a whole to arrive at, achieve, and attain a common goal. In technology and philanthropy, Bill Gates has done so spectacularly. He got out early without finishing school, not because he's a fool or broke all the rules. It was because of his passion and dream, the chance to join Allen and become a great team. Far from home, it's not that he got lost, he got down to work and set up Microsoft. His first major client, yes, you've heard of them. He sold an operating system to IBM. The company grew with every challenge it met, and then came the advent of the internet. Blocking Microsoft's progress and blocking the gate was the internet browser known as Netscape. Bill took them on, but he did some wrong and was summoned to explain just what was going on. Still, Microsoft grew as a technology master. Then they launched Vista. Oh, what a disaster. It was an operating system users would like to forget. But Bill welcomes mistakes, so he has no regrets. As a true leader, he sees each mistake as a chance to learn more, to improve and be great. And sure enough came operating systems heaven in the form of the worldwide release of Windows 7. His name is Bill because he makes billions. But his mind turned to the world's underprivileged millions. They caught his attention and captured his heart. Action was needed, he was going to play his part. With his wife by his side, sharing his vision, he embraced a new dream and made a decision. William Henry Gates III is not just a man who gave us Microsoft Word, not just a programmer, inventor, investor, but a man who seeks to make people's lives better. The richest man in the world could have simply walked away, taken his money and found games he could play. But he's a leader, not a player, who says humanity should use each discovery to end inequity. He asks, what is having lots of money? What is it good for? If you're not going to use it to help out the poor. Help to provide high quality education, medical intervention, and poverty alleviation. If you've already been a technology sensation, just adjust a few things and address this situation. Gather other billionaires as your congregation. Get them also to pledge assistance and donation. That's why he left his office at Microsoft Corporation to work for the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. So now, what is the vista and what is the view? Looking ahead, how is Bill going to do? Look through the windows and out beyond the gates. Will Bill as a leader remain among the greats? Yes, he'll remain a man whom millions appreciate for his insight, intelligence, and how he self-motivates. Alertness and confidence are also other traits, like persistence, which define the leadership of Bill Gates. As long as he's true to Gates' great traits, his leadership will shine and his influence radiate.